Welcome to the bathroom. I figured that I would show you some of the products that I have here at Erica's and some things that I've been using. I have some itch cream because I am getting eaten alive and I don't have a buggy band right now, so this is my savior. I've also been using the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I've used this stuff literally since it launched, like eight years ago, I think, and I love it. And I have used quite a bit of this bottle. I have my Bumble and Bumble Pret to Powder, which I use as a dry shampoo, texturizer, and volumizer. I have my Tatcha sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen for the face. This is Glossier Super Pure, and if you can see that, there's something different about it. This is the large size. So they finally doubled their size. So now you get a full ounce of product. But I will say I haven't been using it as much because I feel like it's not giving me the same results. So I'll probably finish up this bottle, but I don't know if I'm gonna be buying it just because I really haven't been seeing consistent results anymore. And I know that they did reformulate this. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Then I have something newer that I'm trying, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And then something that I've been loving at nighttime, I'm actually almost out of this. It's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. So there are two sides to this mask. One side is a cream and the other side is a gel. And you layer on both sides and it just feels so good. This is the definition of a moisture cocoon. I also just repurchased one of my favorite eye creams. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. Love this stuff, but I do not love that the price went up. This moisturizer is Erica's. She really loves this. And then I have my Tatcha Cleansing Oil, which I love. Outside of the cabinet, I have this new face wash, which I haven't tried yet but it is the go-to properly clean foaming face cleanser. This is a product I'm excited to try and also haven't used yet. This is from another Australian brand called Sand and & Sky and it's the Australian Pink Clay Mask. The Fresh Body Oil, which I've just kept here at Erica's because I love this. Aesop Post Poo Drops, these are amazing. Obviously my Jo Malone Peony & Blush Suede Body Lotion. Over here near the window, I have been keeping my sunscreen out, so I'm currently using the Super Goop Sunscreen Mousse SPF 50, and I've kept this out so I remember to put sunscreen on my body before I get dressed. It doesn't feel sticky, it goes on really nicely. The only issue I have with it is that this pump, you have to press down really hard to get it out but otherwise it's a really great product and I'm really enjoying it. So I had a lovely afternoon in Manhattan. I met up with my friend Willa and we had lunch together. Then we went to Hourglass because I needed to get more of my brow pencil. We ate at this place called Westbourne, which I've never been to before and it was so good. I really wanted this sandwich that they have there called the Trails, but they were out. So I got the breakfast sandwich, so good. It was like avocado, scrambled egg, and these pickled crispy onions. Oh my God. After that, I wandered around by myself in Soho and then down to Tribeca a little bit. I just wanted to go on a walk. It's indulging the part of me that just wants to wander and explore and not really have a purpose. And I find that often throughout the week, I deny that part of myself. I say, no, I have things to do, et cetera, et cetera. I'm out of breath because it's so hot and I'm so sweaty. And I'm also breaking out in like a rash or something from the heat. I don't know what's happening. But now I'm heading back to see Erica and Tato and see what they've been up to. So I just got home and let's check out the scene. There's an air conditioner on the floor. There's laundry being done. There's remnants of snacking, potting mix, ketchup. Hmm, this is one I didn't see coming. And stickers. A lot's happened since I've been away. What's been going on, Tato? What have you been up to? Chores? Did you do all this, Tato? Did you bring out the ketchup? Are you responsible for the ketchup and the stickers, hmm? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just pulling my new accessory around. Tell us about this accessory. So, Erica 
got this for me as a housewarming gift for my new place. I mean, is this like dorky or what? Well, I've always been about function. Yeah. I did have a roller backpack back in my elementary school days. So <laughs> I feel like this was made for me. Also, I'm wearing red today, so it really. The whole outfit is just a hundred. My shoes to be about function. Yep. My bag is about function. Yep. Who said fashion can't be functional too? <laughs> awesome. All right, let's take one last look at this bag this city slicker bag we got three wheels there for climbing stairs well, tato he's pretty hot right now we've been having to give him lots of water breaks it's like 90 degrees yeah i like big onion because they always have the guides are all like history students he's really smart and everything he's saying he's like here's my primary source of information on this and then my secondary source and it's like really nerdy but i love facts yeah you learn a lot on these yeah. tours so i highly recommend yeah. and they do so much research and um it really shows okay tato's panting time for water what happened tato in a tote why is this he in is, a tote this is what happens when tato gets tired he goes in the tote bag does he like he loves it? it he loves it in there yeah oh he just gets to look around doesn't have to do anything rest in his legs it's actually the end of the day today. Christina and I did a bunch of work to prep for big shoot days that we have tomorrow and the next day. And we're going to another location to shoot them. You guys will see it tomorrow and the next day. Erica and I went to yoga this evening and now we are back and I just made us dinner. These bowls that have a base of rice. I've seasoned the rice with some Japanese rice seasoning. So there's a little bit of this and a little bit of this on the rice. And that just helps give it more flavor. And then I have some chicken on here, kimchi, pickled cucumber over here. This is seaweed. And then we're gonna put this really delicious sesame dressing on top of this, the salad. This is what Ingrid does with products. Yes. You Do nailed it. Dance, little, it's not as easy as it looks, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the finesse, Erica? Will you do it and show everyone how it's done? Okay. Let me show you how it's done. First, we gotta get in focus. No pressure, no pressure. That's it, that's the move. Here's mine. <laughs> 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 Which one do you want to try? <laughs> All right, everyone. We are in a shooting location, which is actually a really cute apartment in Brooklyn. And I thought that I would take a break while I'm in my sweatiest outfit so far of the day to say hello. So we've been shooting videos all day today. We did one and now we're finishing up one. It's very hot in this sweater. So just know when you do see this video that I shot it in July and that underneath this sweater my nippies are sliding off so just let that be known i'll show you around the space once i'm back in my summer appropriate clothing hello i am back and now in a short sleeve t-shirt thank the lord i have a suitcase with stuff that i brought we've also rearranged some of the furniture in here so we could film today so we moved the coffee table but look how cute the living room is i'm not going to show you the kitchen right now because i want you to see the kitchen as they had it and not as we have it with products everywhere so that will be tomorrow off to the side of the kitchen is the bathroom and i love it when there are windows in a bathroom Ugh, i mean look at this light in this bathroom it's amazing love it love love i would totally stay here as like a little staycation if any oh yeah look at that light oh yeah best lighting in the place is definitely right here oh it's so good if anyone is looking for a place to stay in brooklyn or if you're someone that needs a place to shoot something whether it's photos or videos 
definitely check this place out. It's called Local House. If you're interested, you can check them out on Instagram and get more info there, but this is a really amazing space and I'm so happy that it exists because we wouldn't have had a place to shoot. So I'm really glad that this is also a local spot too. Oh, I just want to keep talking because this lighting is so good. Woo! <laughs> what more can I say? <laughs> just to soak up this light. Got to enjoy my makeup that I did today too. Tutorial coming soon as in next month. Good morning. I still have a little bit of bedhead and I have an eye mask on, pimple cream on, and I'm about to sit down and have breakfast. Before I head out, I'll make a matcha. So it's like 8 a.m. We had a really good day yesterday filming. Today we have three more videos to shoot. We have finished shooting everything for today. So we shot three videos, two slowdowns for IGTV, and now we are cleaning things up and putting the apartment back to its original state. But this has been such a great space we typically don't shoot in bulk quite like this but because I currently am in between places and staying at Erica's we needed a place where we could just spread out and comfortably shoot not having to worry about like rearranging furniture things like that because we definitely had to like move things around fit the lights in and then there's just the inevitable like explosion of product that comes along with shooting so we actually filmed everything for the month of august so in august when you see my videos going up you will see this place as the background pretty cute so i'm going to take you on a tour now that it's like back to its original state and i'm really grateful that this space existed and they allow you to film in it because it worked out perfectly so when you walk in you typically would not see my suitcase and my stuff right there but this is what the kitchen looked like when we came in i didn't show you yesterday because we had a bunch of stuff up here and also products that you can't see yet <laughs> so i couldn't show you what was happening over here but this kitchen is great this air conditioner has been our savior i'm just gonna stand here for a second because it feels so good what the rest of the space looks like there's a little entryway here the skylight Full length mirror, living room area. So this is like where the coffee table usually is and the chair and all this stuff. I love the old fireplace mantle. And then this is the bedroom. There's shelving here. You'll definitely see this bed in the background. Ceiling fan for air circulation. Window and some construction happening outside, but luckily it didn't really interrupt our filming. Whoa, I totally just tripped on that. There's like a bar area here, Christina there, <laughs> and the bathroom, which you guys saw yesterday. But let's just go back because the lighting's so good. Ah, oh, we're back. I'm gonna miss this spot. This was a good spot. Okay, so I made breakfast today trying to replicate the breakfast sandwich. Not quite the same, but I still think I did a pretty good job. Um, I'm gonna show you Erica's and then I'll show you mine. This is Erica's in its original form. Mm. Looking great. <laughs> and this is mine over here with a few bites in it. I wanted to know like who invented the English muffin and of course a man's name came up. When you Google foods that we eat today, most of the time it's a man that comes up as the inventor. And I just think, do we really believe that when the women were the ones for the most part, especially like 100, 200 years ago, they were the ones in the kitchens cooking? Seems a little fishy to me. Just a quick note, this is Erica approved. Oh, yes. That's really good. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>